kids, Merry Christmas. Or actually today I'm going to say Mele Kalikimaka because uh, that's a video that I'm going to be working on for my little online Christmas show that I'm, uh, I'm putting together. And uh, this is the look that I created for... Uh, one of the characters in the video, there'll be there'll be multiple Tony Holmperms in that. And uh, uh, in order to do that, I have to do uh, green screen work. And uh, so that's why I had to make sure I had nothing green today. No green eyeshadow, no green uh, jewelry, no green costuming. So that's why we went with a very uh, bold red dress lip, very blue eye, and uh, the palette that I use today to help create this look is one I just got yesterday in the mail, because uh, it was, they had a great Black Friday sale. It's uh, from P. Louise. It's the first time I'm using a P. Louise uh, palette. This is from their, I think it's the Stack 'em Up collection, and this one is called Say Less and Do More, Talk is Cheap pressed eyeshadow palette. It has too many names, too many names. I just call it the blue one because <laughs> when we open her up, there it is. There is this beautiful blue color story. Um, these three colors on top, uh, they went a little bit greenish and uh, just to be on the safe side because we're doing green screen work today, I said as much as I'm drawn to them, and I love how they look. I'm going to just stick with the blue end of the palette, and uh, and that's what I did, uh, along with using, uh, and you can you can see it on the, uh, the lid of the eye, I used this also from P. Louise, uh, their cosmetic, uh, is that, yes, cosmetic base, and uh, I don't know, what color is this? Babe, you'll always be my partner in prime. Is that the name of the color? I'm not sure. But um, it's it's one of her bases, and it's a it's a metallic one, and very sort of uh, champagne color. And uh, I used that to um, help create this look today. Now, I did swatch the palette, so let me throw the swatches up on the screen for you to see right now. Okay, so going in order from left to right, we have that first uh, dark teal shimmer called Boss Babe. Yes, Boss Babe. Then we have a very bright teal matte called Money Mover. Then is a very dark teal matte called Gold Digger. Gold Digger. Uh, then is, well, it's almost a little hard to see it. Uh, it's a topper shade, and it's called Get Up and Grind. Then is um, Level Up. That is a dark navy blue matte, almost a black. It's a beautiful color. Then is Talk is Cheap, which is a navy blue matte, also really intensely pigmented. Hustle, which is more of a sky blue matte, uh, somewhat pastel, but very pigmented. And last but not least is Payday, which is a lilac matte. And uh, the pastels were really, really pigmented. Normally, um, pastels tend to, you know, be a little lackluster. But uh, not these. Uh, for pastels, they really have a lot of pigmentation. I just adjusted my camera, so I'm hoping I wasn't too off-kilter. These things happen, kids. What can I what can I tell you? So I may have been a little, you know, wobbly there. It's fine. It's fine. So um, that was the swatches of the of the palette. It swatched really, really good. Um, so my expectations were very high. Now the um, the metallic base. Um, there'll be some more discussion about this stuff when I get into showing you. Um, the actual application of it on the lid. I will just say, if you are going to pick this up and use it, uh, it it probably works best on a base that is very dry. I 
I think that's the best way to use this. So you'll see what happened with my application of it and my little bit of a struggle with it. Um, I guess there is a bit of a learning curve with this, at least for me, I don't know. So I, I definitely had a little bit of a, uh, of a learning curve trying to figure out how best to use the metallic base. But I think overall, in the end, I made it work. And uh, that's always the most important thing. Now, if you like these kind of videos where I take a palette and I create a fabulous drag look, then please consider subscribing to my channel. You know you want to do it. Come on, don't hold back. All right, that's enough about me. What do you think about me? No, but really. <laughs> let me rewind the camera. Let's go back in time and let me show you how I created this look today using... This palette, which has too many names, it's the uh, Stack 'em Up Blue Palette, okay? That's what we're referring it to it as today. All right, enough. Let's go. Okay, I'm back. I glued my eyebrows down, did my base foundation, I did new eyebrows, and uh, honestly, if we're just sort of slapping them on today, because I just have no patience today, they're not bad. So... I'm happy with them. They're they're fine. They're good enough. Um, they're definitely, you know, coming from the same uh, gene pool. You know, definitely not identical sisters. But um, the thing you always have to consider is our faces, you know, most people, are they're not symmetrical. Very few people have, you know, uh, exactly symmetrical faces. Uh, look at somebody like Cher. I mean, both sides of her face are almost exactly the same. Uh, they've, they've done these photographic uh, um, experiments where they take a person's face and they um, photograph it and then they uh, put both sides together like, like a mirror image and show them side by side. And you could see um, for some people just how, how different each side of the face is. So um, I just wanted to point that out uh, as to why, you know, it's not that critical, I guess, to get uh, everything exactly the, the same on both sides of the face because uh, our faces, you know, for most of us, they're, they're not totally symmetrical. Um, so, um, but um, I'm looking at the eyebrows and good enough. Okay, so um, let's start with the, um, with the eyes. And I did use my, uh, oh, I'm embarrassed to show this, my, old, old P. Louise base. This is the, um, I think this is Rumor. It's the, the very white color, and uh, it's almost trying to use it up because uh, when I ordered my P. Louise palettes, uh, I did order a new uh, base. And see, see, this is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what <laughs> happens after a few years of drag. <laughs> Quite telling, really. Hmm. Okay, so we are using the uh, this Stack 'em Up palette. Is that the is that the name of this one? Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not even sure. This is the Stack 'em Up, Say Less and Do More, Talk Is Cheap Pressed Pigment Palette. I don't know which name is actually the name of the palette. I think they're all. I think it's from the Stack 'em Up series. Wait, right, let me see. I'll, I'll know for sure because I did order the purple one too. So the purple one is, um, oh, what's your, this one, this is the what's your favorite position, and I can't tell what that says, CEO, oh, 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 so, I don't know, I don't know, it's the blue palette, okay, <laughs> why does it have to be so complicated, it's the blue one, this one, there, there we go, okay, so, um, because I'm doing some green screen filming today. As much as I would love to use this and this and maybe even this color, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I've got green screen filming today, so I think we're just going to be sticking with um, the blues, maybe the purples. This, this, this color um, 
really that is just too sheer for me for eyeshadow so that will probably be my highlight today so but that's that's fine okay so a, a small brush is what we need and we're going to outline the um the crease and the wing and i'm going to go in with the darkest blue level up which i like that it's so dark it's almost like a black does it have little shimmery things in it it might but you know as I've said before, it seems like all those mats that have those little glitter shimmery particles in them, they just, they just like brush away and you're just left with matte. I don't know why they bother to put those in. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if this has it in. It might just be um some glittery fluff from other things in the palette um okay pigmentation is great great uh, i mean that's a blue but it almost looks black love it um i did put a lot of white powder down because when i swatch these i could tell um because it's a pressed pigment they tend to be um more powdery uh with fallout uh which doesn't bother me but i don't want it on my face so what you can do is either do like me, put a very heavy layer of powder down that you can brush away at the end, or um, don't do this part of your face, the, bo the bottom half. Um, do it after you do your eyes. So, but um, for me, I don't like to do that. I just prefer to have a blank canvas. And I don't like when you do the eyes first and then, you know, you got to put your, your foundation on. And then it's like, I feel like, oh, then am I going to be hitting the, the eyeshadow and messing it up and yada, 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 all that, all that jazz. Okay. So I don't like to do that. I, I have done it a few times, um, especially when I was using, what were they? I think they were some like neon pigments. And I was really concerned that I would have a lot of fallout that I couldn't brush away. So I did do um, my base foundation after doing the, the eye look. Right. I think that's kind of the rough shape that I want. Yeah, and uh, I like that it's really, really dark. So I know when I cut the crease, I get that that really defined line. And we will be cutting the crease, of course, with the whatever's left in that P. Louise base. Okay, so let me do the other side, and uh, we'll be right back after that to start blending it out. Okay, so I've got my um, lines drawn for uh, the the wing and the, and the crease. And we use this really dark blue level up for that. And now I'm going to start blending out with this sort of navy blue. Talk is cheap. I'm using a small brush. And... I'm not going to blend it out... too much because then I'm going to go in with the next lightest color. Well, really, it's the lightest blue called Hustle. I was really torn today. Which, which palette to use? I've gotten in so many palettes, so many palettes. I really don't need to order anything for quite a while because I have so many palettes to um, play with and and do looks and, and videos. Um, 
I did order some today just because it was like, it was a really good deal and uh, a new company and I figured, oh, well, let's, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Okay, that's blending out really, really nicely. So let me do the same on the other side. Okay, now with another small brush, I'm going to go in with this really light pastel blue called Hustle. And uh, let's hope this works. Yeah, because this is a, more of a pastel, I'm finding it works a little bit better to sort of um, stamp it on. Sometimes that's what works best with pressed pigments. Just to do sort of a little bit of a, of a stamping. But, uh... So far... So good. I mean, I've got a lot of it's a lot of pigmentation here. Um, I just need to um, do some more blending out and uh, do the other side, and uh, we'll see where we stand after that. Hold on. Okay, I am back. I continued um, blending and blending and blending with the same three colors, just back and forth, back and forth. I'm trying to get a seamless of a blend that I could. I mean, I always struggle with that, but um, it's fine, it's fine, it'll just have to do. Okay, so um, I'm gonna cut the crease and uh, then I have something very special to do on the crease. So let me, um, let me cut the crease and uh, be right back to show you that. Okay, I'm back. I cut the crease on both sides and uh, as I was saying, I do love when you have that like really dark color and then you cut the crease and you get that really sharp line. And to me, I think it makes your blend look better when you have that really sharp definition. Even if even if your blend isn't that great, just having that um, that definition, I think, helps to make the blend look more blended, <laughs> for lack of a have a better term. Um, so, what are we going to put on this area that we cut the crease out of? Now, I mean, there is this color get up and grind here in the palette, um, which is a, a, a shimmery, um, whitish teal reflect kind of a toppery color. Um, the only thing is I just don't think it, um, it's opaque enough, you know, to really give me some payoff. That, that I really need. There it is on the on the on the top here. That's a beautiful color, but um, I need more. So I did order this um, when I made my P. Louise order. It's um, uh, what is this? It's one of their cosmetic bases, and it's it's like a um, a metallic. And uh, I have to show you this now when we take a little bit of it. Just need a little bit and uh, I'm gonna okay so there's the color in the palette now here's this base okay now look at that I mean that's stunning isn't it so um, I say what the hey let's put that on the cut crease area and um, see how it looks all right Let's see what happens. It sort of reminds me of um, the Stila 
um, glitter and glow stuff. Oh, sorry. But it's in a cream form instead of the uh, the liquid. Okay, this is not working good. Um, it seems like the um, the P. Louise base underneath is like making it gloppy and not doing what I want. I mean, look at it on on my finger, how like reflective and everything, and like on the eye, that's that's not good. Oh, I'm really disappointed. Uh, okay, I think I've got to do some repair work. So, I think I'm going to take like a, a Q-tip and try to get this off. And maybe it just has to go over like, a, you know, a dry uh, base. I don't, I don't know, because I mean, look at it on the finger. Okay, that's really disappointing. Okay, um, let me see what I can do to repair, and uh, I'll be back after that. Okay, I'm back, and um, I had to take a Q-tip and sort of scrape all that off, and um, then I went and I just laid down um, this light blue hustle uh, on what was there on the eye, and then I went back in with this metallic base. Um, I, I don't know. I guess because um, it's a it's a cream formula, um, and the the P. Louise base is a cream formula, and I guess the P. Louise base is meant to then have like you know uh, eye shadow or eye or pigment go on top of it. I guess maybe that's why it got gloppy like that. I I don't know. Um, I think it's okay. Um, I, I'm not sure. I mean, it looks, I think it looks really pretty and reflective. Um, uh, I don't know how it's going to hold up. I'm, I'm like, I just have my, all my suspicions now. Okay, so, um, now that I have a dry base on this eye, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, apply some of that, uh, metallic base on this side, and then uh, we'll be back after that. Ooh, I hope this look is gonna pull together. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Okay, I am back. Uh, I did the other side of the eye with the with the gold base. Well, I don't know if it's gold, champagne, silvery gold. Um, and then I said I need a break, <laughs> so I went and had some lunch, uh, and uh, then I came back. Oh, also, when I looked at it in the downstairs, not like not under these lights, I wonder if you just heard my husband sneezing. Oh, yeah, he's having a sneezing fit, in case you're wondering. Okay, so um, when I was looking at the this this metallic base in the uh, in my bathroom uh, under that light, it it looked really good. So I mean, I I don't know. Uh, jury's still out on this metallic base. We'll see. Um, so then I came back and uh, I um, did some uh, line of work on along the top of the top edge of my eyelid, and I used uh, my Essence liquid liner for that. I was not going to take a chance of using uh, a felt tip liner uh, over it. I'm, I'm like afraid of. I'm almost afraid that it might like flake or crack. I don't. I don't know. But um, I did need that liner work, uh, so I stuck with liquid liner because I figured that would be the safest. And then just in the uh, in the in the waterline, my uh, chaotic cosmetics uh, felt hip liner because uh, I wasn't going over the metallic base. So 
um, just so you know. Okay, so um, just going to do some work on the under eye, and um, I brushed away the powder that I had set down, and there was some fallout, so good thing I had it. And I don't know if you can see, but uh, like the that dark blue, it's already sort of migrated here. Um, but that's okay. I was going to go under there with the dark blue. So, you know, it is what it is. Just going to add a little more to both sides. Okay, so I did the darkest blue, and then I'm just going to go in with this sort of navy. Talk is cheap, a little bit of that. Right there. And then some of that pastel blue hustle. You know what? I, I thought this was going to be a quick look to throw together. And, uh... I mean, it hasn't it hasn't been taking me that long, but I just felt like it was going to be a quicker look. But what can you do? It happens. It happens, it happens, it happens. You know, this is not a... Uh, not doing a show today. I'll be doing some um, video work for my little Christmas special that I'm throwing together that'll be online. This will probably come out after that. Um, okay, so... I think that's about everything we're going to do with the eyes. Uh, except for um, white in the waterline, mascara, false lashes. I guess the rest of it we're just going to do off camera. So uh, when next you see me, we will have the finished drag luck. Okay, let's hope it comes together. And we're back. And here it is, the finished drag look that I did today with the P. Louise. What is the name of it? What is the name of it? Uh, say less and do more. Talk is cheap. The blue palette, okay? It's the blue one. <laughs> <laughs> but here it is, the finished drag look. Of course, hair, jewelry, accessories, dress, and uh, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with how this came out. Now, I know I have to always tell you what I did to uh, complete the look. As always, drag highlighting and contouring. I went back into the palette... Uh, with this color, Get Up and Grind, this uh, shimmery sort of topper shade. And I, I use that as my cheek highlight. I uh, don't know if you can, how well it's showing up. I think it's showing up pretty good. And uh, I like it. I, uh, I think it looks really good. Oh, one thing I have to show you. Uh, whenever I do my uh, setting spray, and now I'm using... My own setting spray. I made my own concoction. I believe this is three parts distilled water, three parts vegan glycerin, and one part witch hazel in a very fine mister bottle. And uh, I, I don't think I'll ever have to buy setting spray again. But I love to put the setting spray down before I do my highlight. Uh, if you do that and you, you put the highlight down when your face is a little bit moist from the setting spray, you will get such such more of an, an intense blinding highlight, even even with, you know, highlight that is already blinding and intense. So just my little my little um, suggestion. And uh, this was just a cheap misting bottle I got on Amazon. I wonder if I can see see how like nice, beautiful, fine mist. Um, because I, I'm doing so many looks on such a regular basis. Um, and I was going through setting spray like crazy. And I don't use an expensive setting spray. I, I was just buying like either NYX or Wet n Wild. But still, they're, they're like so um, expensive. And really, it's mainly just distilled water for the most part. And distilled water is extremely cheap. So I said, enough is enough. So I now 
have my own setting spray and uh, that's what I'll be using from now on. Oh, and of course the lip. I knew I was wearing this very, very bright red festive Christmas dress. So I used my Chaotic Cosmetics red liquid lip in the color Don't Try Me. That's what I say to uh, the CEO, Ashley Jade. I go, don't try me, girl. Don't try me. So <laughs> uh, a beautiful bright red liquid lip, uh, especially when I'm performing. If I'm going to wear a red lip, I I have to have a, a liquid lip because they they dry down um, completely matte. Well, this one is this one is a matte. Is it a matte? I believe it's a matte finish, um, but it's, this is very comfortable on the lip. Sometimes you put on a, a liquid lip and it just, your lip feels like the Sahara Desert. Um, I don't have that at all with this. It feels very, very comfortable, almost like there's nothing on the lip, which is, it's a great feeling with a, a liquid lip. And um, the color payoff is uh, is really good. So back to the P. Louise Stack Me Up. Say less and do more. Talk is cheap. Or as I call it, the blue one. Okay? <laughs> um, so yes, here it, here it is again. Oh, there's that plasticky thing. Uh, sometimes I save them, sometimes I don't. It, it depends. I think we're just going to get rid of that. But yes, um, it's a beautiful blue palette. So the, the mattes are incredibly pigmented. Uh, really, really good. Uh, I, I used the topper shade as a highlight. I don't know if I would use it on the eye. This shimmer, the um, more teal, I didn't use because I'm doing some green screen work today and I don't want my eye to go see-through. Um, but I really would love to do a look, uh, another look with this palette and use like the dark teal, the light teal, and that, that um, greenish teal shimmer. I think I could get a beautiful, beautiful look with that as well. But uh, on the whole, I have to say, um, I, I love the the eyeshadow look. Um, I was not sure, and I'm still not sure, about the um, the metallic base. I mean, I think, I think it's good. I think it's okay. I'm not going to be sure 100% until I see it in uh, the video when I, when I play it back as to uh, what my full thoughts on it are. I mean, I think I got some really nice definition with it. I think it looks very reflective. Um, I just I just don't know. I'm not 100% not sure about it yet. So I, I, I'll just have to see afterwards when I'm looking at the footage and uh, in pictures and, and things like that. Uh, depending on where... I'm looking at it and how the lighting is, it kind of, it kind of alters my perception of it and my, my thoughts on it. So when I'm, I'm looking at it right now in the monitor and in the mirror behind the camera, I think it looks good. I, I think it looks good. Overall, I'm really happy with the look. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I made it work. That's the most important thing. So back to the blue palette. It has too many names. It's too many names. Um, is it drag worthy? Is it Tony Home Perm approved? <laughs> well, uh, definitely. I would have to say, uh, because of the mats, it's definitely drag worthy. Um, it's so easy to get a really dramatic, bold, pigmented look with this palette. I'm really, really happy with it. This is my first time using a P. Louise uh, palette, and uh, I'm I'm very happy with it. I really like how the uh, the mats worked, and uh, for me the mats are most crucial. So uh, yes, it is drag worthy, and it is Tony Home Perm approved. So if you're thinking of getting this palette, and uh, I know they've been having all kinds of sales, so you might want to you might want to pick it up if you're looking for a really good blue deep blue, teal leaning, a little bit of purple palette. Um, I think you'll be happy with it. 
So now if you like this video, then please hit the like button down below. Please hit the subscribe and the notification bell as well so that you get alerted every time one of these new videos comes out. And of course, please follow me on all of my social media platforms. You can also catch me twice a month on Naughty or Nice. That's the internet variety show that I do with New York City horror diva legend Alexis Flame. There's also my weekly podcast, God I'll Get You For That, Walter. That's the show I do with Tom Cat. We watch episodes of the 1970s sitcom Maud, which starred B. Arthur, and we review each episode, and we laugh, and we discuss the social implications, and uh, we just have a, a, a great fun time. So it's a, a very enjoyable way to spend an hour. All the details for all of that and where to get my merch, all listed down below. Well, that's all I have for you today, kids. I'm really happy with how the look came out. And I can't wait to see you all again in the next video. Bye-bye.